Hello friends, welcome to Ultra Pixels. If you like our channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and press the bell icon for getting further notifications. Hello friends, welcome to Ultra Pixels. This is a 24 inch Sony LED TV. Here the complaint is no power issue. See friends, now we open the back cover of the LED TV. This is the motherboard. Here you can see this is the fault. Now the TV is plugged in, but here you can see there is no power indicator light on the TV, and the TV is not turning on. Here you can see the 19 volt is okay. So the adapter is working properly. See friends, the 1.2 volt is also there in the coil. See 3.3 volt is also present in this coil. 5 volt is also there according to meter reading here 1.2 3.3 and 5 volt is present see friends in this 001a 5w regulator ic while measuring the voltages here i found that the 1.5 output voltage and the 3.3 input voltage is missing from this IC. The input voltage 3.3 is also missing. This is the reason for the no power issue on this TV. See in the meter reading there is no 3.3 voltage as input to this regulator IC. The input voltage 3.3 Volt for regulator IC is provided by the drain pin of this SMD MOSFET but here you can see the 3.3 voltage is missing from the drain pin of this SMD MOSFET. See friends in this SMD capacitor it shows 3.3 voltage reading on the multimeter and this voltage is passed to the source pin of this SMD MOSFET see friends here you can see the 3.3 voltage reading on the source pin of this SMD MOSFET here you can see the present condition there is no LED indicator on the TV here the fault is with this SMD MOSFET See friends, now we removed the SMD MOSFET from the motherboard. Here you can see, now we removed this faulty SMD MOSFET from this motherboard. After removing this SMD MOSFET from the motherboard, now we need to join the drain pin and the source pin together for getting the 3.3 input voltage for the 001A5W regulator IC See friends, now we joined the drain pin and the source pin together using a soldering iron. See friends, here you can see the drain pin and the source pin are shorted. 
See? After connecting these two tracks together, now the above regulator IC got the 3.3 input voltage. Now I will show you the results by measuring the voltages. So let's power on the TV first. Here in this TV, because of not getting the 3.3 input voltage for the 001A5W regulator IC, it will not function properly. That's why the TV is not turning on. See friends, now we plugged the adapter. Now the TV is turned on. Now let's measure the voltages. Here you can see now the 1.5 missing output voltage is present on this regulator IC. Now let's check the 3.3 input voltage. See. Now the 3.3 input voltage is also there. Here actually the fault is with the SMD MOSFET. Now let's check the picture. Here you can see now the TV is turned on. Here you can see the display on the screen. And also the LED green light LED indicator is also there. Now here you can see the green light LED indicator and the display on the screen. So finally now we successfully repaired the TV. Here without replacing the motherboard here we repaired the default motherboard. Here the fault is with the SMD MOSFET. So here we repaired the TV by shorting the drain and source pin by removing the SMD MOSFET from the circuit. So now let's put the back or back to TV. See friends finally now the TV is repaired successfully. Here you can see the final result. Now the TV is turned on automatically and we solved the no power issue. Hope you like this video. See you in another video with another interesting topics. If you like our channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and press the bell icon for getting further notifications. Thanks for watching.